uh, people and the idea of being married is that now you are one entity in essence. So that's the idea of married filing joint. So if you go from married filing joint to married filing separate, you might lose some of the capacities to take some of the credits because the IRS is skeptical that you're going to that you're going to do some manipulative stuff. So you have to be careful when you're talking about planning of someone going from single to married. And and I know you don't really want to, of course, make that decision based solely on taxes or, or even primarily on taxes, but there could be a significant tax implication. Married filing joint usually resulting in a better situation for more well off individuals, at least. But if there are credits, especially refundable credits involved, such as a child tax credit and earned income tax credit and possibly education credits, it could actually work out to be unfavorable uh, uh, in terms of a tax situation. So we'll talk more about those uh, at, a, at a future point, but that's how you can kind of think of them. Are they married or are they not married? And then, uh, and then group, if they're not married, single or head of household, if they're married, married filing joint is the default or married filing separately, which you have to be quite careful of. And then if someone died, then the question is, do they qualify and are they a qualifying surviving spouse? Okay, let's get into the details. For information about uh, marital status, you can go to publication 501 if you wanna dive into more detail. Tip, more than one filing status can apply to you. You can choose the one for which you qualify that will give you the lowest tax. So you might be in a situation where, where usually these are pretty straightforward, right? I mean, if you're single, you're single. If you don't have a dependent, okay, pretty simple situation. If you're married filing joint, you're married filing joint, pretty simple situation. But you could imagine where there's a question that you might be applicable or you might qualify for multiple statuses. You can't choose multiple statuses. You have to pick one. And the objective there would be to pick the one that's going to give you the best benefit from a tax 